Hey, what's up? Justin here, and welcome back to 65 Drums. Today, I want to do a video about the D-Drum Hybrid line. There's actually quite a few different drum sets in this lineup if you go to drumtech.com. It comes in black on red or white on red. It comes with the full shells or half shells, and it also comes with a Zildjian bundle, depending on which of the versions that you choose. And a lot of people getting into electronic drums for the first time, this really catches their eye, and they want to turn this into an electronic drum set. They see that they can get a whole set like this for around $800. You're getting a lot of shells there, and it already has triggers built into them, which is really cool. It's got input jacks on the sides of the shells. So the thought process is, if I buy this for 800 bucks, all I gotta do is spend a couple extra hundred dollars to outfit the rest of the pieces, and suddenly I have a TD-17 KBX killer, or an Elisa Strike Pro SE killer for a fraction of the cost. Are you actually saving money if you go that route though? That's what we're gonna talk about in today's video. By the way, today's video is sponsored by DistroKid. If you're working on a brand new single, an EP, or an album, and you wanna upload it to Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon Music, iHeartRadio, and all the different services at the same time, you need to know about DistroKid. DistroKid basically just saves you a lot of time because you upload your song or your album to them once, and they send that song or that album to all the different music websites at the same time so you can actually spend more of your time making music and playing concerts, which is what you wanna do. They also do a host of other things depending on what tier that you choose to go with. You can do synced lyrics. You can get that verified check mark on Spotify. You can also get your songs on TikTok, Instagram stories, and Facebook as well. Another really cool thing about DistroKid is that they can actually split up the royalty payments that you receive for your songs. So each person in the band can all be paid at the same time. And DistroKid is actually fairly inexpensive. There's a couple of different tiers that you can choose between. So you only need to buy as much as you need DistroKid to do for you. If you wanna check them out, I have a discount link down in the description below under the video. Big shout out to DistroKid for sponsoring today's video. All right, so let's see what it would take to turn this D-Drum kit and turn it into a full-fledged mid-range electronic drum set. We're not gonna go with ultra cheap components because if you're gonna spend this amount of money just for the shell pack with some triggers inside of it, you might as well outfit it with some okay gear. We're not gonna go top of the line, we're not gonna go cheap, we're gonna go straight down the middle. Step one, of course, is buying the drum set. There's a couple of different versions, but the one that a lot of people seem to be interested in is the D-Drum Hybrid Acoustic Electric six pack. And you're getting a lot of shells there, and I really do like that look, the whole matte black on red shell thing. I really like that look. So that's about $800. Step number two is to buy a whole set of mesh heads so you can start turning this into an electronic drum set. Now I know a lot of people who are getting into electronic drums for the first time, their gut reaction is to run out and buy a whole set of Remo Silent Strokes, or maybe a whole set of Evan Sound Off heads. These are really, really thin one ply mesh heads that are under $100 for a full set of them. It's a really good deal. But the problem with these mesh heads, and I own one myself, is that number one, they're very, very bouncy, Number two, they're very, very thin. And also number three, because they're so thin and bouncy and they jiggle around while you're hitting them more because there's not a secondary layer, that hurts trigger accuracy. So you're gonna wanna go with either two ply or three ply mesh heads. Thankfully, this won't cost too much more. You can buy a whole set of mesh heads from eBay for about $120. Not used mesh heads, these are brand new mesh heads. Believe it or not, eBay is a great place to go find some middle of the road mesh heads for not that much money. And if you wanna go all out and buy the very best mesh heads available on the market, I highly recommend Drum Tech Real Feel Heads. The next step in the process is to buy a drum module to actually make sounds, or at least to generate MIDI notes if you're using a piece of drum software on your laptop. Now when it comes to modules, unfortunately the ones under $600, they sound very, very poor. They just sound terrible. So I would start with a TD-17. That's a nice middle of the road drum module. There's also like two box drum at three around this price range. The next step in the process is to buy a whole set of cable converters. Now you might be wondering why you would need to buy these. It's because the shells use XLR connections, which was not a very smart move on the part of D-Drum, unfortunately, because 99% of drum modules, including a lot of D-Drum modules, their own modules won't really work with this whole setup because it uses XLR connections. So you're gonna need a bunch of cables that go from quarter inch over to XLR just so you can plug in a module into this drum set. My guess is that the people that designed this drum set kind of just assumed that people would hook this directly into an interface and then use some sort of trigger software and then also use some drum software on top of that. Most people aren't gonna go that far. Most people are just gonna hook this into a drum module and then maybe you know insert some samples via an SD card into the module. And then of course the next thing that you'll need is a full set of electronic symbols. So let's build that out. If you wanna buy a decent electronic hi-hat, 
a lot of people's first thought is to go and buy the Alesis Pro X hi-hats. They're really, really bad. Uh, even Pearl has had a version of the Alesis Pro X hi-hats because I think both of those hi-hats are made by Medelli. And just people have had horror stories about those, so I would stay away from those, even though they're nice and inexpensive. I think the, the best, decent, cheap-ish electronic hi-hats are the Roland VH10s. They're very nice. I really do like them. For the crash symbols, I'm going to go with something a little bit less expensive. So two Roland CY5s or CY8s. And then for the ride symbol, I'm going to go with the Roland CY15R. This is a quality ride symbol that will last a very, very long time and just feels really nice and is very accurate as well. The only downside is that the bell is slightly unsensitive, but it's a very quality ride symbol. These are pretty small symbols for a full acoustic set of drums. That is unfortunate, but if I went with a bunch of ATV symbols or big Roland symbols, then all of a sudden I would double the price of this entire drum set. So I'm gonna go a little bit more conservative on the symbols for the sake of the video. Okay, so now that I've gone over a bunch of components for this imaginary drum set, how much would the entire setup cost if you bought all this stuff? And remember, I didn't go really expensive on anything. I went with middle of the road components for all the different parts of the drum set. It would cost you about $2,548 to fully build this into a halfway decent electronic drum set. And here's the kicker. Your snare doesn't even have a rim zone. That's because the D-Drum Hybrid Kit, the triggers inside of them, they're all single zone triggers. They're essentially D-Drum Red Shots like this, but they're mounted inside of your drum and they're using an XLR connection. And actually I have the exact kind of sensors they use inside of these drums. And this is it right here. This is what the sensor inside of your drum looks like. You have two pieces of foam with a sensor in the middle right there. And then you have two lead cables, and then this would go to an XLR connection that's in your shell. You could buy a whole set of these sensors basically for about $100. That's how much a set of D-Drum Red Shot triggers would cost. I could cobble this together with a bunch of stuff on eBay for hardly any money at all. So if you really want this type of sensor setup, all you'd have to do is buy a cheaper set of shells, and then buy a bunch of D-Drum Red Shots that actually have the correct quarter inch connection on it, and you'll get something that performs identically to what the official triggers inside of the shells have inside of them. So for those reasons, I don't necessarily think that the D-Drum Hybrid Kit is really worth buying for most people who want to turn it into electronic drums. I feel like the D-Drum Hybrid is best for hybrid drummers, like the name suggests. People that want to play mostly acoustic, they're going to use the regular acoustic heads that come with it, but they also want to occasionally maybe trigger some sounds without having to lug you know, different external triggers and then put them on the drum and then take them off and stuff like that. It's actually just saving you a couple of seconds. You're not getting really fancy triggers, but you're an acoustic drummer that just wants to have occasional 808 sounds or clap sounds or whatever. This could be good for that kind of drummer. But as far as like regular full-fledged electronic drummers that want to turn this into a full conversion drum set, uh, the D-Drum Hybrid is really not the route to go. The point of this video is not to hate on the D-Drum Hybrid drum set. That's not what I'm trying to do here. I'm just trying to explain why this is not a good idea for people who want to turn it into electronic drums. Because the foundation that you're building on isn't really meant for what you want to turn it into. You're eventually going to have to buy third-party triggers and that will negate the very reason that you bought the shelves in the first place. Okay, so I don't want this video just to be a whole series of don't buy this, don't buy that. Let me give you some legit alternatives to the D-Drum Hybrid that are actually really nice and would be a better buy, in my opinion, for electronic drummers. So if you want to buy something sort of like the D-Drum Hybrid, Jobeki is a legit alternative. So Jobeki will sell you something that will cost around the same price range, a little bit more expensive, but it will come with mesh heads on them, all of the triggers inside will be nicer, and also you'll have quarter inch inputs on the sides of the shells, not XLR connections. Also, they will sell you different uh, packages that come with low volume triggered cymbals, which are also a legit option if you don't want to go with uh, rubber electronic cymbals. They don't sell the modules because these third party uh, conversion companies never do that sort of thing. But yeah, you can just choose whatever module you want, plug it into the pads and cymbals, and you're good to go. Now for the people out there willing to stretch their budget into the higher price categories, Drum Tech is an excellent option, so is ATV, and now the new Roland VAD line of drums is also an excellent option as well. So if you want something like the D-Drum Hybrid, that is route number one. You could buy some pre-built electronic drum setups that are full acoustic sizes. But of course, the second route is to just do it all your own. Build your own pre-built electronic drum set. Now, I made a whole video talking about the pros and cons between building your own electronic drum set and then buying a pre-built one, but here is basically a distilled version of that video. It's like buying your own desktop computer or building one yourself. If you build one yourself, you're going to save a lot of money. You're also gonna have more flexibility because you can choose whatever kind of components that you want. 
you can mix up Roland gear, Joe Becky gear, some UFO drum triggers. You can buy cymbals from ATV and you just basically have a lot of freedom that you don't have if you buy just a drum set from Roland or just a drum set from Joe Becky or just a drum set from Drum Tech. So you save money and you have flexibility. What you're really sacrificing is your time because building your own conversion drum set can be a little bit uh, intimidating and also it can be a little bit confusing if you're new to this sort of thing. But thankfully there's lots of tutorials out there. So if you wanna jump into this whole world of building your own DIY electronic drum set, there's a lot of help out there. All right, so that is the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. You guys are the real MVPs. Especially thank you to the people on Patreon who helped make this video possible. See you guys in a few.